so I like this idea of randomness so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close my eyes and randomly select an album from the massive library of music that I'm staring at that you can't see um, but to determine whether I'm gonna take the top shelf or the bottom shelf we're gonna flip a coin here heads top tails bottom so let's do this Oop. Oop. top it was heads I swear I promise okay top Okay, move the DVDs out of the way, because they're not going to be a part of this. And close my eyes. This one. Get it out. Okay. Finger 11. This. Finger 11. A lot of people might know this one, with Paralyzer being the first track on here. Um, it was their biggest hit. Probably their only hit. Honestly, I mean, I only have this one album. There's a huge ass crack right here. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but I bought the album because I did like it. Falling On, which is the next track after Paralyzer, is really good. Um, and what was the other one on here? Talking to the Walls is a fantastic song. That one is great. This album's actually not bad. It's not bad. It incorporates some funk along with the alternative rock genre that it is, and I mean, not too much to say about it. I'm gonna check the liner notes here, see if there's anything interesting to talk about. I haven't, oh, look at this. There's not even a booklet. It's just a piece of paper with the stuff. Who did what here? Yep, kind of boring. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do the bottom one this time, just because I did the top one. Okay, closing the eyes, gonna go down here and find a... this one. Okay, look at that. We have Frank Ocean's Channel Orange. Yes, I did buy this one. After I saw his Grammy performance of Forrest Gump, I was actually blown away by it, surprisingly enough. And the next day I went and bought the album, and it's really good. It's really unique. Um, I first initially thought he was just another generic rapper that was getting attention at the time, and I didn't really care for that. Um, but after seeing Forrest Gump, I was actually really impressed. And Thinking About You is the other big single, a really good song. He hit some really high notes. And uh, God, what else is on here? There's, there's not even, look at this, there's not even a track listing on here. What's up with that? Guys, get it together. Is there in here? No. I'm holding it upside down. Uh, mm. This is so embarrassing. I don't even, I can't even read this at the moment. I can't read. Um, guess there's, oh, oh yeah, Andre 3000. He's in it. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you know what? This is ridiculous. The other song I know that's on here, Pyramids. It's a really long track. It's like a nine minute song, but it is phenomenal. It's super, goes from being laid back and then kind of trippy-ish, which kind of is his style. Um, from what I was reading about, the genre is called hipster hop or hipster R&B, which I don't really know what you qualify making R&B hipster, but Frank Ocean apparently does it and I dig it. So yeah, there's that. Okay, that's all for me. I'm going to go to work now.